مانتي وحاب بقشر لوجي بيت وفد بلاران وهو جامين يو أرجي جار كاكر ماذا بدو بي مصر تيام إسوان وفد جيسا حبنا كيهين أما قيب كهاين هيا ذا كاكر ماذا بدو بي سيدا دول يو إف بي يو إن دي بي وحان كوضع هذا الناي أرمها هرمرينتا جلمدك أرمها دور شوينكا إيه سكوري تيجا ما أبنيجا لما أنا أرمي عن كوضع هذا الناي وحين نوصل لما دين أنت تشوي يدي دلالة أو أدي أد أنت رجب بدن إياه رجب بدن إيه كمو قطة أما إيه كشرتو وعند شئنا إن مركز صبحان أنا رجع المدوحان حينوت هاي شركة حنوها بانتي فرصة وين وعرم بدن لوجه هاللي عرم بدن لوجه في هذه السنة مدرة أنسو جيني سجودنا عرم هالدور شوي إنك هو أقوى سمارة أنا بدو سجودي سي أما هنتي أدي أد لودا نیل یه یه دن آد بان وضع هذل نی و حالا نکس سوگی نام و نکشی نی نه این یکس و بحان اما هر لاس عضو و لقب بحه ارمیه تاجنا اما ارمیه مدتا عکرنا ریش انجام کردنا آدی آد بان وفر حسن نهی شركة عندي شو إنه قد عي، عن مرة بعد صورة وين إن إزارجيجا إيه وفد جيسا، عن تشوف في عن كقبنا رما رما هاللوجة هاللي أودم إنقول لك جارو لين عوال بايهين، إن كنا وجه صوت بحان نتيجة إيه رما بحكو أولا وقل مدقيه سومالي بانفع، هذه هذا ما سنتين. Thank you, uh, President uh, Ahmed Abdi Kareem and your team for the warm welcome that you have extended to us today. I'm here today with uh, Cesar Arroyo, the country director of the World Food Program in Somalia, and also Jacqueline Olwea, who is the officer in charge of the United Nations Development Program in Somalia. We are very pleased to be in Dusa Mareb today. We have come to discuss with the President and his ministers the work of the United Nations in support of Galmaduk. This work ranges from support for ongoing reconciliation, security, and stabilization efforts to providing humanitarian and development assistance. Let me offer a few specific examples. With funding, from the Italian government and in collaboration with the Galmadug authorities, the World Food Program has started construction of a fishing jetty in the Hobio district beginning last December. The project will provide easier access and docking points for fishing boats with the objective of supporting the local fishing industry and facilitating export once it is finished in the summer of this year. The project goes beyond construction. With local NGO partners, the World Food Program is also training the local community in new fishing skills and fishing preservation methods. The Hobyo Jetty Project is part of the World Food Program's food systems approach, which involves supporting networks that are needed to produce and transform food and ensure that it reaches consumers. Investments in food systems improve long-term resilience and self-reliance of communities around Somalia. This project is in addition to WFP's core humanitarian program, which provides food, cash, or vouchers to some 300,000 needy citizens of Galmadug every month. And we expect that help to be scaled up during the remainder of 2021. The United Nations Development Program has been providing technical support with Galmadug's Ministry of Interior, Federal Affairs and Reconciliation. 
in part to help the ministry develop its core functions. In addition to funding the actual construction of the ministry's building, UNDP has supported training of more than 100 government officials on issues related to federalism and intergovernmental relations. The aim of the training is to enable them to constructively engage in discussions between the federal government and federal member states. The UN Development Program's support has also included facilitating participation of more than a thousand government officials, civil society representatives, elders, women and youth leaders in reconciliation related conferences, consultations and workshops. The funding for this support has generously been provided through a multi-partner trust fund from Germany, Sweden, Switzerland and the UN Peacebuilding Fund. We hope to be under, able to undertake further projects like these, and for that reason, we are also here to listen closely to what the Galmaduga authorities hope for and expect from the United Nations in 2021, so that we can better work together to meet the needs of the people of Galmaduk. On the political front, the President and I discussed the wider political situation in Somalia, particularly the preparations for elections. In this regard, I again commend President Ahmed Kariye's efforts in trying to resolve the dispute over the implementation of the electoral plan. And I encouraged him to continue playing a role in maintaining contact between the leaders of the federal government and federal member states. We also discussed the importance of resolving outstanding contentious issues so that a credible electoral process can take place across Somalia. Once again, I reiterate the view of international partners that a spirit of consensus and collaboration, putting the good of the country first, is what is needed at this time to ensure Somalia remains on a clear path to peace and stability. We urge all of Somalia's leaders to make every effort to engage in dialogue in a collegial spirit so that the national elections are held on the basis of broad consensus, rooted in the September 17th agreement and underpinned by transparency, fairness and inclusivity. Once again, Mr. President, my sincere thanks for your time and hospitality. We look forward to working together with you and your team and the people of Galmadug in 2021 to build a better future together.